Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center for draw 15 of the Canadian Mixed Curling Championship. My name is Kyle Jans, joined by Prince Albert's own Kara Teveno. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Great to have you here. We've got a great game all lined up here. We've got hometown team, as a matter of fact, or home province team, Saskatchewan's Team Meacham up against Ontario's Team McDonald. Important games for both as we get closer and closer to the semi-final playoff games that will be occurring this weekend. Sean Meacham and his team from the Swift Current Curling Club had a heck of a game this afternoon in a must-win game almost with three wins. They defeated the Northwest Territories. It's going to be important for them to have another strong showing tonight. Yeah, that was a big rebound for them. Um, I was able to watch last night from my own couch, which was great, and they lost that one on Last Rock and have had uh, a couple really close games that haven't gone their way. So a uh, very important win there. Um, you know, they brought other teams back down to three losses now too. So Very important for them. and. Riding a five-game winning streak from the St. Thomas Curling Club of Ontario, Scott McDonald and his team. Uh, they had one falter in the round robin, but otherwise have been looking fairly solid this week as they look to claim one of those playoff spots as well. Yeah, this will be a big game. Saskatchewan sitting with three losses, looking to bring those two lost teams back down to where they are. Um, Ontario, you know, looking to continue their win streak and get one more step closer to the playoffs. So big game all around. Uh, when you get to the championship round, you know that you're playing the best and every single game is important. Yeah, we have eight teams that are still very much in, all in the line here right now for an opportunity. Uh, Quebec's Felix Asselin, he picked up a, a win earlier this day, earlier today against Northern Ontario. That makes them the lone six and one team in this field. But other than that, you have all teams at either five and four wins. So everything is still very much in play here. So we see things really kind of just kicking off with a pretty open-ended uh, end here. Yeah, just something simple. A few hitting sticks, get comfortable. Um, we During practice, we did notice that it was maybe curling a touch more, but maybe a little bit slower too. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's Ontario lead Laura Neal, Director of Communications at the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame. She nails that hit, no problem. Throwing second rocks here, we got Chris Heikert. Yep. Yes. Happens to be the general manager of the Swift Current yep. Curling Club where this event will be going next year in 2023. They've done really well in Swift Current. They've hosted two big um, World Tour events this year too with big purses and it's really nice to see big events in Saskatchewan again because we've been um, lacking a little bit on that department. You know we used to have the Colonial for Women's and now that hasn't been happening so really nice to be able to bring some big teams and big events back to Saskatchewan. Absolutely teams want to follow the money and when you have that it, it makes it a much more enticing and uh, also it's such a staple I feel like to curling in Saskatchewan a ton of great events and when you have a club that is willing to be able to put in the, the time and effort and the volunteer base that goes a long way in making that a reality as well. I know that Chris has been working really hard down there, so kudos to him and their whole team down there. And I've heard the ice is just fantastic too. And we've been able to watch all the games from there too. And that that's so nice for teams with to be able to showcase all their sponsors too. So same with the Curling Canada YouTube page. I'm not gonna lie, it was nice sitting on my couch and watching. Very proud of what we've been able to do here. We're doing this one, of course, the Canadian Mix, and stay tuned. We will be also uh, live streaming the Everest Canadian Curling Club Championships coming up at the West Edmonton Mall, as a matter of fact. That's going to be quite the event. And yes. then the uh, Everest Canadian Seniors a couple weeks later at the uh, start of December at Yarmouth, yeah, Nova Scotia. Matt Hall in the hack here. Twenty nineteen Canadian and World Junior Champion with Tyler Tardy. And he was playing out of British Columbia for the year, now Ontario based once again. 
He's also skip of the Wilfrid Laurier University team that won the 2020 U Sports Championship. Oh, 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 of course, that was in March of 2020, and we all know what we were on the verge of at that point. So, unfortunately, the event that they would have been able to uh, go and represent Canada at the University Ad was cancelled. But he'll still always have those accolades of being the Canadian champion at that event. He just gets by that yeah, corner. Yeah, we're getting some nice curl to the wing here, that's for sure. Just hangs on. Like that. Like board. Like firm board. So Sean taking a moment just to kind of talk over specific weight. Looking for about board weight from Kelly Schaefer here, who's throwing. Safe Places Manager, the City of Swift Current, also a fitness coach. You might know her from her time with yep. Great Britain when she was a full-time athlete for yep. Great Britain and Scotland, yep. and making some Olympic appearances. Gets by. Yeah. Great sweep. That's a, Those are hard shots. You've got to get out there and hope that they'll hang, and then they'll come back for you, and great weight management. Those are way harder than they look. Even manages to get a bit of a inside <laughs> roll as well on that. It's slight, but that goes a long way because now that same shot isn't even there for Ontario, I think, would they want to chase that? Yeah, Laurie's looking just to come around the guard here and bring the bring the play to the corner, with, which is where you want to go with Hammer. Yep. That is Laurie Eddy. You'd probably know her as co-host for Two Girls yep. and a Game Podcast. You're going Mary Chilvers. She's also won three Ontario Hard curling night. championships in the past six months. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it was nice to see her Whoa. back. We Wait got to play green. her at the 2020 yeah. Scotties in yeah. Moose Jaw. She represented uh, none of it at the time. Even went on. They I think they won. They won two games that uh, that time around, going with a two and five record. One of the stronger performances for none of it in uh, in its history at that event. Kelly will try to just follow it down, put some pressure on. Go if you need to. It's all you. It's good. It's all you. Waiting for this to break. Lots Close of communication. Whoa. Had to wait for it to get off that center guard. Now it's starting to move. Yeah, getting some nice finish here. That's an excellent shot. So, yeah, we are seeing play away from the center of the house here for this opening end. Good for Ontario if they can manage to capitalize with a type of deuce. Around that Laura, corner Laura, guard, no Laura. problem. Trying to get it over just a bit. Okay. Does pop off that yep. one though. Yeah, if with the right weight there, you will, should be able to get by and be able to tap this back yeah, a little bit. Just we'll have to make sure you don't bounce yeah, off and leave a double. And to get it out. Yeah. We are seeing some finish here though, so this should come up with the right weight. Have to get it out. Try Definitely more so than we have roll, seen like, in a couple of the previous it. games, especially today. Just easy hack. Might have been common to see draw to the button with maybe side four, but we're seeing that extend a little bit more to the eight foot here. Nobody's ever going to complain with a little bit more curl. This is Skip Sean Meacham. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Owner and operator of Meach Construction. Been in business for 21 years. Got a curl! to get it over, so Chris Heikert takes over that, trying to carve it, trying to get a piece. So is that a matter of the weight just being a little up? Yeah, it looked like he was maybe just, it, it stayed close to the center line for quite a while and didn't break early. Um, sometimes you'll see that if 
you don't get off the center line, then it doesn't take off as early. So it looked like it just kind of stayed straight and then went at the end. He was just wanting to throw back line weight, so the weight was really close. Uh, hack weight. Okay. Ideally, roll like half a rock your way. Nice. Yeah. Just curling up a little bit more than last time you were here. Yep. Okay. Scott McDonald now settling into the hack. Looking for about a hit and roll just a little bit to the outside. Yeah, probably a, a rock. Rock or so. He'll end up leaving some kind of a double, but he probably won't want to roll too far either because there's a double in the back as well. Accident benefits claims adjuster for intact insurance. Seen him represent Ontario at the Tim Hortons Briar. And also played with Nova Scotia. He actually played with Paul Fleming, who is on the on the ice right now as well. And they did that at the 2021 Tim Hortons Briar. So they get the nose hit and can't clear it from that one back stone. Good throw, sorry. Scott's now playing with New Brunswick too, so he's well, been all a little bit all over the place. Yeah, I was bugging him about that. He said, "I don't know where I need need to be or want to be, but good for him for finding teams that all have the same goals and commitments, and it's great to see." Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I like that one. Same way. Especially being out there with, with okay, James okay. Grattan in New Brunswick. You know, sure. it's always a strong team, always one that's in the mix for claiming that provincial championship and then also remaining very competitive throughout the week as well once they do get to the Tim Hortons Briar. So we will be watching that closely. Lots of experience on that team, that's for sure. It's like going in the middle. The middle looks easier from down here, but it's the guard's really long, like you can probably just chase it out. Yeah. There's not enough room to roll in and jab. Let's go behind the middle, I think, Kelly. Yeah. Making an adjustment here. What exactly were they looking at? He just wasn't sure at the other end if he had room to roll to the middle, but the guard is also a bit high too, so whether it would be accessible after. Um, they are worried a little bit about the jam too if they did roll behind the yellow, so they've decided to go towards the center. Just looking at hack weight. Something manageable with sweep. A lot of patience as they wait here for it to bend. Whoa. Whoa. Finish. Finish. Just a touch, but again, just didn't quite get the curl maybe that was anticipated. Yeah, it only needed to move another inch or so and he would have had a really nice shot. Still not a gimme here though either. From the hack, it'd be about a quarter buried. Potential two in play here for Ontario in this opening end. Make the red go away. Stay clear of that center guard though. With the ice being a little bit straighter at times, weight management is really crucial. Certainly seen that a few times today. Get the weight up, pop it out a bit, and it just has no chance of coming back in. Yes, it's very, really sensitive, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't look like he overthrew this at all. No, definitely not. Getting tight on the guard here. Got by. <laughs> Stellar sweep from Laura Neal there. And that is a score for two for Ontario. So they'll take a two-nothing lead after the first end. Look at that. Incredible shot. Great sweeping there. And we'll be back after this.
Ontario leads 2-0 over Saskatchewan after that opening end deuce. Real good sweep from this woman right here, Laura Neal. Fitness enthusiast, as a matter of fact. She says she works out three hours a day or so. Helps out with the sweeping a little bit, I'd say. Yeah, no kidding. She puts this basically right on the pin there. Couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, good rock placement. It all started in that end with them working around a corner guard. And when you don't have hammer, that's never the place you want to be. And there's um, a lot of good shots that end. TJ Heikert now in the hack. You'd see the uh, Sandra Schmerler Foundation commercial that just played. Uh, TJ is from Bigger, Sandra's hometown. So as a community, she always watched and cheered them on. And Sandra is one of her inspirations to chase her curling dreams. Also has memories of Sandra's parents, Art and Shirley, who would always come down to the rink when they were curling at different junior bond spiels with baked cookies for them either before or after the game. Yeah, there's a lot of good curlers from Bigger, that's for sure. <laughs> What's the sign when you go into bigger? It's not, or what? It, New York is bigger, big, but this is bigger. That's it. That is it. Yeah. <laughs> Been there once in my life for uh, when I worked out here in the, in the newspaper business and was out there for. You curl with Robin Silvernagel from Bigger for five years, and you know all the bigger you, you stuff. You hear all about it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure there's not very many young females or our age that. Um, that Sandra wasn't their idol around here. <laughs> it's so true. That's fine. Around here and across the country for sure. So Laura, not quite locking it on, but getting another one top four, which is great. You don't want it too high up. Yeah, great setup. Got to give the lead love, hey? Got to remember that that's where I used to play. So us leads get forgotten about sometimes. At least they make it on the camera here. Sometimes so. we used to get cut out or we got the little corner up top there. <laughs> We give our leads love. Take away. Straight. Close. Close. TJ is going to play for the, around the corner here. TJ and her husband, Chris, have won this event before. 2015 Canadian Mixed Champions. It's the last time that Saskatchewan has won this event as well. Max Kirkpat Kirkpatrick was skipping that team. Yeah, this team has had quite a bit of success too. Um, they uh, they went to mixed in 2020 as well. Um, they actually beat the team I was on in the final that year in uh, <laughs> in Esteban. So shot the lights out. They make a continued effort to play together in different leagues across. They do, the yeah. They they play together in Swift in the Super League when they have a chance. Um, between shift work and I think Sean being away some too, but it makes a big difference when you can play together and you're all from the same place. Mm -hmm. and I think this team is all great friends too, which makes it more fun to be together. Makes some of those road trips a little more endearing when you like the people you're with, for sure. Three really nice played shots from Ontario so far, so a bit of a bailout here, at least starting to clear out some of that center path here as Chris gets up to the, the hack. Oh, beautiful shot. Yeah, they got one kind of around the corner guard and in place so you can just work it at the middle. Try to get some things cleared up. Looks like Scott's not going to take any risks though and the corner guard's going to be gone right away. I'm on my seven eights. Yep. Oh, we're here, eh? okay. Looking to just hit and roll and use a, have a guard at the same time. Kind of a two for one shot. Oh. 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 So I don't know if that was exactly what they called, but the result was pretty good. Yeah, I th it looked like he he called the the sweep on, so he ended up playing that, maybe knowing that he wasn't going to get the roll, he switched to just playing For the sure. run double instead. Close. 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 
Chris here has also been to two Tim Hortons Briars with uh, Pat Simmons as second. Yep. Also with Steve Laycock, who skipped his junior team to the 2003 World Championships. Good job. And also says that his father, uh, Charles Heikert, was, uh, had a passion for the game like no other. Always made him to strive to be the best he could in the sport. Came up like a smidge to her. Chris is actually back playing men's this year too, I believe, oh. with Steve Laycock. So um, really cool reunion that they got going on. So it'll be interesting to see how they do this year in the men's circuit. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. The scene has certainly changed a lot since uh, yes. the last quadrennial yes. when we see yes. all these shifts yes. up. Yes. 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 Matt Dunstone no longer there. Yeah, he, Leaves a bit uh, of a hole. Yes. There's no more cheering for him from the Saskatchewan fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find him a traitor now that he went to the Manitoba side because there's still right. always going to be that Manitoba-Saskatchewan rivalry. It doesn't matter if it's curling or football. It's there. Yeah, well, the football scene has not been good the last couple of years. We'll just leave it at <laughs> as that. A, as, a, as a native of Manitoba, I will, I will leave it at that for right now. <laughs> the only good thing is you don't have to go to the Grey Cup in Regina and freeze. <laughs> Minus 40 weather, yeah. exactly. Go if you need to. Go if you need to. Life's good. Life's good, guys. Doesn't need to curl. Schaefer. Trying to get it by, they just clip it though. Yeah, just swing around on those if you need to. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, McDonald here doesn't have hammer and house is set up nicely for that at the free guard zone at this time. We are going out a little wider, so it'll be interesting to see here if it still comes back as hard yeah. as it did. Kelly's did curl. It was a little light, but they are definitely getting some finish, but this is into the 12 foot now, so we'll see what it does out here and what the speed is like. Yeah, go. Brooms down right from the get-go. You've got lots of Mine's good! Whoa! Oh, oh. oh my god. Mine's good. So how'd you find speed there? Yeah, I got a 14-1 on that hog to hog, which um, I think is, I'm, I'm thinking it's a little bit faster there, but it didn't curl until the very end. Mm -hmm. So plus they swept it a little bit early, which will keep it straight. So um, I haven't really timed anything else in the middle, so we'll keep an eye on that. But um, some decent finish there, even though we were out in the 12 foot. So. That could be good news for Saskatchewan here as Kelly Schaefer lines up. Yeah, looking for a freeze or even a little freeze tap if the line's good. Should be room. Oh, that's room. Got a curl. Got a curl. Got a curl. This isn't moving. Straight, 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 straight. Straight on the back. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so we see a little more weight being thrown at that one, and again, no movement there. Yeah, just a little heavy. That would that would have been through, so you got another six feet away compared to um, Lori's that she just threw there. So the results were not yeah, really surprising as far as line goes. Do, though, like, you'd love to lock one in there, but if you get it buried, the run makes the double, and if you stick it on, like, we're, we're that's pretty on the, hard to do. Like on the logo. Yeah, we're just past the logo. Um, they speed good out here, like, it might even Looks be like they're just looking to guard here. You can hear now. Matthew talking there oh, about if you come oh, half around, you are making the run a little easier. So, um, you know, they have a little bit of pressure on right now and okay. try to make Meacham make something good. Okay, yeah, this spot is two feet quicker than, like, your draw for him right now. You can hear them talking about it being a little quicker, and that's kind of what I thought being out in the 12 foot there. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, well, line's fine. Good communication like from okay, both close. teams and all teams right here out yeah, here. That's so important in knowing where weight is at, how it differs from the last time maybe they were in the hack. Well, we'll wait until the very end. We don't have very good 
line. Can you try to curve it? Yeah, curve. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Trying to get some in the pie. Go, go, go. Get a piece stuck. Go, 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 go. Okay, good call on the weight. So with weight a little up, they decide to bring it in. Try and tuck a little bit behind that corner guard. Yeah, they're just trying to kind of tuck it enough that there might not be a double there. That's what they were worried about leaving. It's edge to edge, so it's, it would be hard to make the double because the, the back one would jam onto the red one at that angle. You'd have to hit it more on the nose, which they aren't able to do. Okay, normal. We want to cross and you could make the double. Yeah. Yeah. So are they looking at the run double here? The run double, yeah. I mean, you at least want to get one if you ever, um, you know, hit it on the angle and even can stick the red one in the top 12 or top 8. That's pretty good. You, yeah, you're too, too red one. to one yellow then and the pressure's yeah, on a little is, bit. A um, but definitely need to make contact here, red onto yellow. But yeah, the double is there. Big Seven eight three quarters on the center line side. It's definitely there. Meacham here with his first in this second end. Big shot coming up. It's close. Let's see. One, two, three. Great shot. Exceptional shot from Meacham. That's what you wanted to make, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful shot there from uh, from Meacham. The front end might not have quite known what the back end was doing there. <laughs> Great shot though by Sean. They're having a good little laugh about it right now. Looking for the double here to try and get out of the end of giving up two. Yeah, you got it, bud. Good job. Close. Yeah, yeah. Scott McDonald yeah. here on his last. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Trying to hard. remove both stones. Rolls it. I don't know if they're shot. Is a shot? Yeah, we shot. It's close. So that'll certainly... It's a little hard to tell with the way the camera angle was. Yeah. I could tell, Kyle, if I was on the ice, I would you know would, what it we is. You would be yeah. showing it. Tell me. Good old eagle eyes here. Were you the eagle eyes of your I team? was, yeah. Okay. Once in a while, when they let me down to that end, <laughs> yeah. And on a shot like this, where you can't tell for sure, um, obviously it makes sense to be playing this this hit instead of the draw. Yeah, and it's playable. I mean, if if it wasn't playable, you'd be drawing and then hoping for the, mm -hmm. the two on the measure, but this this is playable. Yeah. All right. Hit for two here for Saskatchewan, looking to tie this game back up at two apiece. This hiker with a big scrub, holding off. Connects, no problem. Just great weight control, team shot there. You're able to sweep that and hold it and then let it come back in nice, so. Make no mistake for the team from Swift Current, getting two, tying this game up after two. And we'll be back after this for the third end. Saskatchewan is cold. So cold that you'll often hear locals ask each other, is it cold enough for you? The bold and brave, they'll already know the answer to this question. Saskatchewan is cold enough. Cold enough to cover our land with new possibilities, to freeze time and place and create long lasting memories. Cold enough to make us appreciate the warmth of others and bring our communities even closer together. Saskatchewan, cold enough. Game at 
the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Centre. Welcome back to the 2022 Canadian Mixed Curling Championship. We've had an exceptional matchup so far between Saskatchewan's team Sean Meacham and Ontario's team Scott McDonald. It's been a great week so far here in Prince Albert. If you've been able to join us, we thank you. If you're in uh, Saskatchewan as well at this time and you want to make a difference and help support the event, you can do so online. The Prince Albert Golf and Curling Centre is hosting a 50-50 that's running until November 12th. You can visit that link that you can see at the bottom of the screen. You can also visit pagcc.ca. That'll take you to the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Centre's website. You can find a link directly to that 50-50 as well. Proceeds will help support this club, the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Centre, as they host this event, help them with facilities and fees, and keeping the lights on, always a very important thing, and helping curling prosper here in the community. They haven't been charging any admission here, so if anyone does want to come down and support the event and check it out, they're more than welcome to. So visit that URL down there, visit pagcc.ca. The main streets have been plowed, the parking lot's been plowed. After the snowstorm on the weekend, you can get here. You can't get here now, you don't have any excuses. Okay, got to curl that. TJ throwing up a center guard, looking to put some pressure on, uh, bring the play into the middle this end with, without hammer. Do you like that call? I do, yeah. You know, tie game, you don't have hammer. It's time to put the pressure on. on it's a third end so um, you know it, you're hoping to get the hammer back after in the fourth as well keep with the even end so and I mean you could see in the first end there that the the play was to the corner and that didn't go well for Saskatchewan either so definitely definitely wanting to bring the play to the middle and Ontario will follow him in as far as you can go Yep. Yep. Laura Neal with that shot. She and Skip Scott McDonald are engaged. Wedding planned for June of next year. And I say that Scott owes her more than just a ring after that sweep that she did for him last end. <laughs> Two sets of spouses yep. on this sheet, so hopefully hey. the battles won't be too crazy. Hey. Hey. All the way. Great up. Great up, great up, great up. Oh man, they get it by beautifully. Okay. A little short there for for Chris's. Yeah, it's still a good shot though in the top of the four foot, so um, the other rock is a little bit behind the T line. Okay. Closing down the forefoot, and you can make a play on that later. Yeah, we don't need to. We take. Okay. Yeah. Normal. Good call by Scott here, looking to not just peel, but just hit and be able to hit and roll over and get a corner guard out of it as well. Matt yeah. Hall. Yeah. 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 Whoa. 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 Makes it nicely. Says he has a strong affection for chicken nuggets and Crown Royal. Who doesn't? I don't know about the Crown Royal, but I'm in on the chicken nuggets. <laughs> Queen! Queen early! Queen! Yep, stay on it, TJ! Keep going! Alright, guys! So Saskatchewan now trying to replace that center guard. Yeah, looking for a little bit more finish here. Doesn't get the finish they needed though. You can make this. Sure. My thought was get to the inside, but it gets kind of messy. What? We can. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably gonna be shot after it. I think that's fine. Like, we'll be sitting two, three, four. Okay. You like hack? 
Guards sure. okay. Yes. If I get the guards, that's fine. Okay. Okay. They'll be looking oh, to play this tight here, right. and if they get Even the guard, that's shot, okay. You have to be so careful. Okay. To make this. Are they looking to pick that out clean or more so run it back and... They're not. They're only playing hack weight, so okay. looking to just get to the inside. And if they touch their own on the button, that, it's not a big deal. It's more about where they're going to be leaving their shooter. Gotta go! Hard! Hard, Getting some curl here on the center line. Hard, Lori! Yeah, that's going straight into the center. Not a, not a great result there. I'm not so sure that he he threw that one that well. Um, it was a little more curl than we've been seeing, that's for sure. Great opportunity for Saskatchewan now. Still aim to plug up this uh, this hole. Yes. good. Wait, doesn't need to curl. It's a good over curl. Ooh. Just straight. Getting lots Just of finish straight. here on this side, though, too. Okay, off. Off, off. Okay. Take out the Pretty good spot. Not yeah. going to complain with that. Stop just in time. Thanks, mate. Okay. Burn. Yep. yep. Straight feels okay. Okay. Lorietti now, aqua fit enthusiast. I've been told she's very much into that great form of exercise and fitness. You can also see her co-host, Mary. They were featured in the most recent uh, Curling Cares calendar for the 2023 edition. Yes, I have not seen the calendar yet. I have not yet. seen it yet either. I have yet to get mine. Her charity is uh, in honor of her daughter, Ashlyn, for the yeah, Ca yeah, Canadian right. National Institute for the Blind. Great shot there by Lori. She just got by that top guard to make that run back. Um, still leaving Saskatchewan shot rock, but a little bit more room, a um, bit more room onto the forefoot. So Kelly will look to replace this, probably top four, top button. Line's good, clean, clean for line. Okay, where? Okay, T's okay. Got to be full four. Line's good. Line's good, guys. Full four. Can they get it there? It's a great spot. Some great finish in that um, that path there. So. Certainly have been seeing more of that as Scott takes a look at those rocks. They're all really close. Even if it's not shot or second shot, it's still, you know, above the T-line in a good spot, the puts the pressure on not really good, eh? and buried. Mm -hmm. Are we two? Are we two if you really Can I get it? Is there enough room to get by? No. We can do that. I don't know. Whatever you're seeing. I like that. Yeah. You just made Same it. Throw. Like, do it again. You can sit three if you get it perfect. Just looking at a run double if it's hit well, but I think obviously just trying to run that one straight back into that top four foot would be a really good outcome for Ontario on this. Clip their own. That was the only unfortunate part about playing that shot is it was really hard and you had to just get it by yeah, and if you I didn't agree. then yep. you were going to be leaving a guard there again yeah, even if you just freeze it it's pretty good we only got a, but now we that got yellow is accessible like to use again on the center line as it rolled inches. a couple inches yeah just got to move a few inches uh, i give you a little less than that but yeah yeah what yeah, yeah. Just a little tap up. Yep. So Saskatchewan just looking at 
promoting that stone up a bit. Yeah, we need to yeah move you know, as long as line is good, then they'll definitely pound it to try and get um, to the face and be able to tap it a little bit. Line is going to be more of a more key here than than the weight. It's you, dead buried right now. Mm -hmm. And you might see the weight come off a little bit as it does curl in there, so. Clean early. Clean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yep. No. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Only if you have to. There they go. They're sweeping for the curl now. They're going to get it over just to the face. Tap it up. Great shot. I think it's kind of the yellow bird and just, okay. if we can ever just yeah. make it right into here and make those go. Yeah, yeah so basically we need that to be... Yep. Cross the face just a hair. Okay. Peel. So you mentioned that top center guard being of use to Ontario right now, and it looks like we're going to see that in play. Yeah, he'll be trying to cross the face here just a little bit. He'll be three quarters, not quite. Try to run it back and make the double. Would be big for a team with last rock here. Close. Wow. Good shot. Wonderful shot from Scott McDonald. Not only the double, but the triple as well. That's why we pay the skips the big bucks. Oh. Just like that, this end turns around in a hurry. Sean will be throwing a heater here, I'm sure, looking for the triple. Basically nose, just off nose. Important to take your time and focus after the other team makes a fantastic shot like that. Big shot from Meacham here. Needs to get some ye yellow granite going. Get out, go. Jams. So, with that, draw for three. Bit, unlu on the board. Bit unlucky there. You just heard Sean say that we should have just swept it. It was kind of going backwards a little bit, and they probably could have made it keep going backwards, and it was never going to curl back to where he wanted it. And then they would have been able to get um, the one rock on the left hand side that we see out of the eight foot. Big turn of events, and that's the way curling goes sometimes, unfortunately. One shot, that's all it takes. Yeah, big draw here for a third point. Needs to be full 12. And that's exactly what we're saying. I want to see four feet more. That's exactly what you're saying. Third end, Scott McDonald in Ontario with the last rock. Big draw for three coming up after an exceptional run you know, triple. Yeah. Give us a bit. Line's okay, good. It good. It's, a scratch. it's going over some shit right now, guys. Okay. It should be okay. Line's good. Brooms are down. Nope. They were okay, down from like Neil and Hall. Okay, we are. Looking not like they need the backing. Yep. Utilizes the backing. Ontario will get three. Take a 5 2 lead now in this championship pool game at the Mixed Championship. Stick around, we'll be right back for the fourth end.
big end for Ontario. Re orchestrated a lot by Scott McDonald. Run triple really changed the, uh, the outcome of that end, so now a big lead for them. So we are here in our second championship pool round. We've got three other sheets in action here, all with some exceptional curling and some close games. One sheet over to us, we got Jamie Cooey of the Northwest Territories taking on Grant Odishaw of New Brunswick. They're tied at two apiece as they're in the fourth end. Also tied 1-1 right now, Quebec's Felix Esselin, Nova Scotia's Paul Fleming. And a 1-0 lead for Northern Ontario's Trevor Bonneau as he takes on British Columbia's Craig Miles. Miles Craig, my apologies. Just over, guys. Just over. Just, yeah. So if you're a team Just that over, uh, had that outcome on you there and gave, uh, accidentally gave up that three, how do, how do you reset for this upcoming end? Well, you got to look at it as it's only the fourth end, thank goodness. You don't want to be giving up a three ball late in the game. So there's still lots of time. Focus on getting a deuce for now. Um, you, you never know what could happen, that's for sure. So unfortunately, TJ just hogged her, her corner guard, though. So that's not going to help the situation for now. But just got to stay patient. Uh, they had that end set up really well, got a break. Sean made a good shot. And you can't always defend against those big shots. You just had got to move forward from there. So. Matt, Matt, T-line now. Yep, yep, yep. Really hard. Yep. Good. Good job, Laura Good Neal job. getting both of those in play. TJ now with another opportunity. It's been to two Scotties Tournament of Hearts back in 2008. She was living on the Northwest Territories and Kerr was curling with Kerry Galusha. And then in 2009, she was an alternate with uh, Saskatchewan with Stephanie Lawton. Yeah, looks good. That first one must have picked or something. Eh? It just took off. Did it? Because it. Oh, okay. Okay. Good job. So she gets the corner there. Yeah, they're just talking about maybe the first one picking. Yeah. I didn't really see it right when she let go, but it did go sideways quite mm -hmm. hard. So. Are you ready for another Matt Just Hall fact? <laughs> sure. Yes, we are. Keep the good luck. He says he knows the script to all three Austin Powers movies by heart. Well, I sure don't. Groovy so. baby. I have all that I know too. Yeah, go then. Yeah. So if we're, you're looking for a quote after, Matt Hall's the guy. Seems like a center guard here. Here. They're by the center. Good shot. It's good. Yeah. Bounce probably a little further than they'd want. So Ontario will attack here and try to roll back to the middle. Matt Hall getting an opportunity for Ontario to sit three. Yes! Laura! Whoa! Laura! You got it! You got it! Keep it moving! Holding it. Yes, good. Stellar shot there. So Saskatchewan here with Hammer. Looking to just rearrange things. Hopefully maybe create a bit of a wall or a pocket. Yeah, uh, Sean's being really patient here, just trying to m freeze, move rocks around, see if he can get some jams and uh, try to make Ontario shots a little harder. Still early in the end, just with seconds 
last stone. Like you said, that patience is so important because I think for many of the initial impact or the initial reaction might be, well, I'm in trouble here. I see three of these Ontario stones. I need to move them as quickly as I can to get them out. Okay, it's good. So they will get that. They didn't quite get the uh, the line that they wanted on that. It overcurled. Scott's changing gears here a little bit, going on the offense. Going to put up a guard and put the pressure on Saskatchewan. Lori, aim for halfway. Halfway. Just go. Always Morris. It's never good when you hear <laughs> your sweeper say just go. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's like well, yeah. 10 feet from the hog. I don't know. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is this is where you gotta take advantage of the opportunity. Yes. Um, you gotta capitalize. Uh, this is something that we always talked about is um, we called it a Sam. Um, so hopefully uh, Kelly can can make a good one here. Just looking for the tap back. A Sam, sorry. A Sam, yeah. A Sam. A Sam. Where does that come from? Um, something after a miss. <laughs> I don't remember what the S was. <laughs> but yes, definitely oh. capitalizing on the other Green. team's mistakes. Oh no, it's running. Oh, it's running. Got a curl. Got a curl, Chris. Okay, good Flip it up. Yeah, it's good. Actually yeah. turned out not too bad. Uh, the double's not really there. It'll go onto the yellow one in the forefoot. Yeah. Board. Okay. Okay, you got it, Lord. Roll it rock. Okay. Flop right in front. You got it. Lori herself here will be wanting to come back from a uh, from that missed rock there. Looking for a good one here. Ontario's had great weight management too, just playing lots of bumper, bringing the sweepers in and controlling it a lot better than throwing um, throwing a lot of weight on these guys. No roll, no roll, no roll, no roll. Good, real good, really good. Hits and rolls, so it blocks off any type of run or raise that would have been there for Saskatchewan. This one? Just come down for a minute. Kelly Schaefer making her way down as they're going to talk about a little bit more. Yeah, it's nice for the thrower sometimes to come down and take a look at the angles to here too. Up, sometimes hard to tell in the hack. Yeah. Kelly's asking yeah. about the run here. It is getting late in the end. No, We're no, on third's last done. stone and um, the scoring here is going to be important. No. Okay, try and hit and roll to that side and try and not the five there, get the seven. I mean, then maybe yeah. the That's fine. That, but we can't do much about it. We're not sitting very good here. We gotta no, I mean, like give, a, give us a shot. Yeah, we're not gonna, can't move anything far enough to make it good anyway. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like they've settled on the run. Yeah, the run tried to make contact with the the Yellowstone that's half in the eight foot, um, which would go on to the rock in the four foot. Try to get things moving here a little bit. So here comes Schaefer on her final yep. one. This is hey. pretty hard. Need to hold the line, Chris Hakert. So over curl and now Ontario looking to be in a pretty good spot here. Yeah, Saskatchewan's definitely in a bit of trouble here. Ontario looking to put a guard on, just figuring out exactly where and which path they want to take. It's like split center line halfway. We just have to cover 
the left one. I don't want to give him a hole where he can get that left one. I mean, it's a much easier guard pass. I agree. The benefit, I, I guess, for Saskatchewan being that there is a draw path open for right now. Yeah, the outturn path like is definitely there. Or yeah. On the right. like, yeah, yeah. Just, well, with this line, if you're always inside brush until we know, Matt. They are okay. okay. Sounds good. What do you think? You see a wall of uh, yellow all in front there. Well, and Sean was Sorry? had left lots of those rocks, trying yeah, to like trying to tap them back and make something. They just never were able to get a good angle set exactly. up. Ontario was always able to access their rock, yeah, yeah. and sometimes this is what what you're left with when you take that risk. Looking for basically half a yard. Okay, little tighter school okay. Lions good. Here comes Scott McDonald, his first of this fourth end. Lions good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Looking Easy. to guard Easy. that wall of granite there. Always not. Easy. Too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sit. Sits pretty close to where Lorietti had her broom. I thought I gave it a lot. But yeah, I think they were hoping to split center there more. Um, they have uh, left the port there. Spins, yeah. That's what we talked about guarding, and it's still over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just try and hit it into the crack. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, anything even just to take away from that. Oh, it looks like they're going to play the red run. <laughs> the red run, yeah. So that port might be there, but better angle. Smash it into the crotch there and try and get two or three of them. Yeah, you spin out. Yeah. Like if we touch, I guess you could make the double and sit there. Yeah, so Chris is asking about the hole right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The one rock is just a touch above well, the one um, half in the eight foot. So he's talking about how it's going to hit that and then spin up and out of the rings. Um, this way, with the red, he, he'll be able to sit into wow. it more. But he's going to come down and look at it again here. We can make this. We just can't touch this one. Is that better? Is that better? We could just we could draw too. We probably not getting two, but if we get shot, we're probably pretty good. It's probably all or nothing. <laughs> yeah. And we won't have much. At least if we play this, we'll have, it'll open up this side. Ah, oh, this is probably good. I think so. There's a couple options here that they're looking at. And actually now it looks like after a lot of discussion on maybe that port or the angle raise, they've settled on a draw. Yeah, there is a couple benefits. You make this good, you might be scoring two. Um, he, there's a good chance he will have to draw on his last one as well. Um, so nice to get a feel for it. But yeah, if they can ever get this, you know, full four, um, even half a round, and make the other team play it, you make the other team make a good shot. And uh, he's he's going for a skip or deuce here. Oh, well, like last. As you say, that's why they get paid the big bucks here. They're oh. got to get this in play. Not the curl. But yeah, it's just not curling. Yeah, just a little heavy by the look of it. Now, yeah, Ontario is definitely going to try and block off that draw path, force some wider. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you like put one in the eight, yeah. like yeah. Certainly a situation where you're okay with taking a little bit more ice than yeah, maybe like what you need. Like yeah, you're just trying to block the path, really. So it's getting close to the center line isn't going to do you any good. Um, to be honest, the tendency on these is to overcurl. So a uh, very smart call there from Scott to make sure that they have enough ice here. And it is moving nice that they should be able to finish it in if they need. That's a different beast, though. I think with this one... No, I know. This is the same path we had in the second end where we thought it was a little bit faster as well, so I feel like that's uh, what they're communicating right now. I mean, if we're, if we're a halfway guard, like, fighting the imaginary four from I'm happy with that. Yeah. 
Make a good one. Big shot here, Ontario sitting for Scott McDonald, trying to limit whatever chance Saskatchewan may have here. Okay, clean it. Oh. Should be there. Clean it. Oh. Line's oh. good. Line only. Oh. Line's fine. Oh. Oh. Looking for this to Not die wrong. down. A little deeper than I think they hoped. Yeah, definitely deeper. Let's see what I can see. I'm sure Scott would like that one back, that's for sure. Yeah, this gives Saskatchewan definitely an out here. Uh, please, like not, wow. We don't need lots. No. Yeah, normal. Basically looking for a hit and roll, essentially. Maybe a hit and, going for the double, they want to connect with that other stone. Yeah, they're just playing uh, normal weight, so nothing crazy. You kind of just need to roll into the other. Um, they will be playing more of the roll here than anything. Meacham with a note here. Last shot of the fourth end. Yes! Starting to go. No problem. Big end for Saskatchewan. Gets out of a lot of trouble here. Definitely a game saver, that's for sure. That certainly is. Ontario will remain in the lead 5-3 following that single point from Saskatchewan. As we head into the fourth end break, teams will take a break. So will we. We'll be back after this. Saskatchewan is cold. So cold that you'll often hear locals ask each other, is it cold enough for you? The bold and brave, they'll already know the answer to this question. Saskatchewan is cold enough. Cold enough to cover our land with new possibilities. To freeze time and place and create long lasting memories. Cold enough to make us appreciate the warmth of others and bring our communities even closer together. Sure, it can be a bit uncomfortable at times. You're gonna have to do some shoveling, scrape some ice off your windshield, and you're definitely gonna need to wear a toque, but that's all part of the fun. It's about dressing right and preparing for the adventure. So bundle up and embrace the season. Saskatchewan, cold enough. Curling teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, lead, rock. These are the words of our sport. Words we embody, powerful words. Words that speak to everything we represent. Respect, togetherness, strength. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts, it accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. We dream big. We play with heart. We focus on these circles and imagine podiums in far off places. 
In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Please give generously. Saskatchewan is cold. So cold that you'll often hear locals ask each other, is it cold enough for you? The bold and brave, they'll already know the answer to this question. Saskatchewan is cold enough. Cold enough to cover our land with new possibilities, to freeze time and place and create long-lasting memories. Cold enough to make us appreciate the warmth of others and bring our communities even closer together. Saskatchewan, cold enough. Saskatchewan as we head into the second half of this game. My name is Kyle Jans, joined by Kara Tevano, Prince Albert's own. How are you? Good. Saskatchewan getting away with a big one there. That could have been writing on the wall very much for them had they not come through with that last shot there. Yeah, and you know, um, Scott came in a little deep there, and you got to take advantage of those opportunities. And Sean made no mistake there by scoring. So um, we see the the center guard go up, and I'm sure we'll see Saskatchewan try to put some pressure on here. What do you think the discussion is exactly if you're Saskatchewan coming out of that fourth end break? What's what's the goal for this second half? Well, I mean. You, you'll try to get a steal here or there or else the game might be gone anyways, but uh, it's more just about trying, uh, they, they haven't had great rock placement. Um, so there would be, you know, talk about that and um, just limiting scoring on the other team, you know, give them one, get two, give them one, get two, um, and maybe a steal in there. So just staying patient and, and knowing obviously that they're probably gonna put double centers up, stuff like that, so. And Ontario on the flip side, coming up Two up now with Hammer, feeling pretty good about where they would be. What what would be their keys for this second half? Scoring with Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> um, making sure there's a shot there for your skipper at the end, for sure. Um, yeah, just not, not getting five. sucked into the middle game, for sure. Yeah, Scoring better. with Hammer is a big one. Higher's better. <laughs> PJ Heikert now throwing her final lead rock. She's registered nurse. Currently an instructor at Great Plains, Great Plains College teaching practical nursing program, as well as she works with acute care at the Cypress Regional Hospital. She was on the front line during the pandemic, both in the home unit as well as students on the wards. A lot Busy of work. girl. Busy girl. <laughs> and two two kids who she told me they're chasing around honky rings yeah. in Saskatchewan for the winter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Line's good. Line's good, not nice rock now. Oh. Line's really good. Nope, go, 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 go. Oh. Nice shot, oh. Nice, great go, shot. Go. Really good. Oh. Yep. Yep. Ah. Laura's had a great game. She's had great draw weight the whole time and been able to wrap, wrap her rocks around the guards, that's for sure, and has set up the, the ends very well for Ontario and put some pressure on Saskatchewan early. Which, as we know, is leads is very important. Well, that's right. I mean, credit, credit where credit's due. This <laughs> Ontario team's come together as a pretty cohesive unit over the past little while. They even went on a team trip to Las Vegas in the summer of 2022. How's that for team bonding? Pretty good. They're probably just wanting to start traveling again, too. <laughs> Scott wasting no time getting rid of the guards here after the five rock free guard zone. Six. 
When it comes to removal, this guy, Matt Ball, is a good one to have on your side. Clean, clean, clean. Nice job. Nice shot. <laughs> A few other updates we can give you after the fourth end breaks as well. Northwest Territory is Team Jamie Cooey is leading 5-2 uh, over New Brunswick's Team Grant Odishaw. Right, 2-1 lead for Quebec's Better Felix go, Asselin over Nova Better Scotia's go Paul Fleming. It's gonna be heavier here. And Northern Ontario's Line Trevor three. Bonneau as well as British Columbia's Miles Craig. They're tied at one apiece. Yeah, keep going, keep Fairly going, keep close going, keep games going. all the way around. Northwest Territories up 5-2. Okay. They had scored three in the fourth. Oh, yeah. You beat it the same way. It just gets that much. Every game matters on the ice right now in the championship pool. Yeah, the standings are really close, so trying to pull somebody down with a loss, stay up where you are. Um, it'll be a scramble for the top four spots for sure. We're seeing... Uh, a lot of close games and maybe some teams not taking as many chances. Wait, good. Yeah. As a player, how did you find oh. that in the championship pool format of the Scotties? Yeah. Uh, every game was hard. Every game was hard. Yeah, I mean, everybody can beat everybody in the championship pool too. So um, honestly, it's just one rock at a time and you kind of forget about what game is next and mm -hmm. what's going on and you forget about what day it is too. So. <laughs> It turns into a long week, and yeah, you, you can't look ahead to who you're playing, and you're just worried about what you're doing at the time being. We're in the third stones here now. Ontario sitting behind a couple center guards. To be in the heavier line there. Line's good. They're looking for a come around here, top four, top good, button, good. to try to put some pressure on. Go if you need to. It's the curl. So you did say a steal or two in this second half of the game will go a long way in getting Saskatchewan back. And a shot like that's going to help them a lot as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, even if you, you can get a steal of one here or get the game within one, then you give them one take two, you're looking at a tie game all of a sudden. So um, it can change in a hurry, that's for sure. So they'll keep trying to put the pressure on. Yep. Scott wasted no time to run up and peel those guards, though. Yeah, that's less than what you gave Yeah, I just realized that. Thank you, Matt. Knows exactly what he's looking for here. Again, lots of discussion amongst this team just about the line. Matt always seems to have an idea of where the room is placed, has a good yes! indication of where the weight exactly is. Laura! Hard, Laura! Hard, Laura! Hard, Laura! Hard! 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 Runs it, Thanks. but noses Fine. it. Good shot. Yeah, Matt's got a lot of great communication in the front end um, that we're obviously able to hear all the time, but he does a lot of correspondence between the front end and the back end and keeping the girls in loop with what's going on. And um, he actually just told Lori there that um, that was a little less ice than he had had before. That was the same spot that they played in the third end. So great heads up there. It, it's a team effort out there. Not everybody can, um, you know, you got to be paying attention to lines and weight and where it's curling. So. Phenomenal good player way. that's had a lot of junior success, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Line's good. Go if you need to. It's so important to have that player that's okay, kind of the good. conduit from the front to the back end as well, making line's sure that good. it all runs in, in synchronicity in uh, yeah. with each other. For sure, and then this team is an interesting dynamic too because you, you skip and lead are spouses too, mm -hmm. so... Um, if, I, I don't know how much as a lead I'd be saying things <laughs> to yeah, my way. spouse, yeah. so that's just why we just don't play together at a high level. It's just way easier to stay at home and not do it. It's less, a lot less arguing. Yeah. Yes. Lorietti now. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Hard that. Hard that. Hard. Hard. Clips it, gets the all of them spinning. Yeah, great shot by Lori. Removing that backstone as well, just getting enough uh, momentum on it there. 
all Ontario inside this house with a lot of rocks kind of all directly lined up along that center line. Yeah, Saskatchewan will just be looking to come in there, you know, if they can get around top four foot, great, but if they have to go to that back yellow one, um, there's nothing wrong with that either. Well, I'll count both, both those stones, so looking for a come around. Meacham on his Hold first. Austin! TJ, I, I just don't think you can. Really needing this to curl. 13 1. Both it's heavy. Come back. Come back. Yeah. And it slows down for shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, great way to just just was out there a little further. They were waiting, waiting for it to curl, trying to be patient. Not a bad place though either. Uh, Ontario has to go after this rock, and if they if they do happen to sit there, they're leaving a nice pocket for Saskatchewan to draw to. So in a way, it's kind of a way for the other for you to make the other team come after you and and maybe have something to draw to after. Not to mention also, this rock isn't exactly wide open. It's it's partially covered as well, and those center guards could come into play depending on weight management or where the release exactly is. weight management there. Um, yeah, Ontario the has um, has done that all game there. and they've gotten and some really good results out of it. Lose those. So the same lines close, Kelly, But as we talked about, uh, uh, this now. is kind of what Saskatchewan was also hoping for. Line, perfect, um, looking for a shot that. here. Thanks. Back button Wait. from Meacham. This rock might curl a little bit more. Good opportunity, anticipating a little bit more curl perhaps. Yeah, he was a touch heavy last time, but uh, they definitely will know the line here. This is very similar to the one he just threw. Stay close, because I have this rock is curly a little bit more, so we took the same ice. Stay close. So here comes Meacham's final shot of this end. TJ and Chris Hiker. On the brooms. Lock it on. No white. Lights up bad. No white. Lights up bad. Lock it on. No. Hearing no line. Line's not bad. What will it be? Gets it onto the corner there. Sitting shot currently. Yeah, it is wide open though, so Scott will look to hit it over here. Who knows? No. This could be a big end for Ontario. Yeah, Sean had a good throw there, just didn't quite come up for him. Um, both of those rocks were kind of thrown there, not giving the sweepers a chance to just work it a little bit. Sometimes they'll get a little bit more finish if it's, you know, four feet lighter and then the sweepers can mm -hmm. help it. Potential for four? Uh, or do we think one of those will spill out? Yeah, one of those uh, will definitely spill out, and it looks like it's a red biter there in the back. So Scott McDonald on his yeah. last. No, 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 no. Yes! Whoa! Whoa. Clean, yeah! Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Curl, 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 curl! Next. Great time. And that's a fur three. So, Ontario now. Eight three lead on Saskatchewan after this shot. Connects does lose that back one as you mentioned there, Kara, and will still take a nice comfy lead as we head into the next end here. We'll be right back after this.
Welcome back to the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center. We're now in the sixth end of this one. Big end for Ontario, three ender with hammer. Now you now have a five point lead over Saskatchewan, eight three. Yeah, Saskatchewan uh, definitely had chances there and were trying to get rocks in the right place and they, they just didn't quite get line and weight together, unfortunately. And sometimes when you're trying really hard for the steal, that is the possible outcome is the other team is going to get a big end out of it. So they'll be looking to set up here though and, um, you know, if they can score a deuce here, um, they are still back in the game with two ends to play and if they could put some pressure on, you never know. We've seen crazier things happen in curling for sure. <laughs> Meacham in Saskatchewan looking to avoid that fourth loss dropping to four and four. Ontario on the other hand looking to win its sixth consecutive game in a row. Picked up a win earlier today against uh, New Brunswick's Grant Odishaw. Yeah, I like that. Lots of action here in the championship pool. Northwest Territories now only leads 5-4. I'd mentioned uh, they were leading New Brunswick 5-2 earlier, but two-ender from uh, New Brunswick with Hammer. So the Northwest Territories leads 5-4. 3-1 lead for Northern Ontario. That's Trevor Bonneau over Miles Craig. It still looks like it's 2-1 from what I can see between Quebec and Nova Scotia. 3-1. Oh, no, wait, 2-1. 2-1, one. blank end there in the fifth. Every game out here matters. So does every entry into the 50-50 that is supporting the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center. You can support that online well, now. Anyone who is in Saskatchewan at the time of purchase is available to Purchase a ticket running from now until November the 12th. Okay. Visit that link down at the bottom of your screen, or you can check out the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center's website, pagcc.ca, and from there you'll see that link that you're available to go visit, and you can enter there. I think has to be expected if you're Ontario. Obviously wanting to limit whatever you can. Yeah, Laura made two great shots. Top top button and then turned around and made a tick on the corner guard into the house and now we saw Matt just take that out. So um, just a strong play from the Ontario front end and they've really been setting up the ends for them, that's for sure. That can be so tough to defend against if you're Team Saskatchewan in this scenario. You haven't been playing bad necessarily, it's just when the other team is shooting the lights out, there's only so much you can do. I mean, the out's probably a smarter call. It is, yeah. I would agree. Even though I don't like it as much. You love it. A little less, Scott. Okay. Yep. Paul looking yep. for the straight peel okay. here. Okay. Oh, 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 here, here. Other way. Okay. Noses it though, so that could be an opportunity for Saskatchewan here. Try to wrap one around for now and um, try to put some pressure on that way. Just got to stay patient. Going to go behind their own corner here first. Line's good. Little room. room. Got a curl. Got a curl, guys. Right. Uh, but you keep it up. Looking for some curl. We see Schaefer and Heikert switch, trying to get a little bit of extra as they reach that far hog line. Looking for a bite. Still a good shot. Usable rock later in the end. We don't mind that now. Whatever you see, 
Can we roll in off that? We can, yep. Yeah. I think it's better to roll out than just stay yeah, here, yeah. though. Sperm. So, the same I've been throwing, right? What? The same I've been no, throwing. No, it's pretty straight. The same I've been throwing? Same way that she's been throwing? Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty, it's straight. So some discussion here. Looks like it'll be a hit and roll. Looking yeah. to stick around in the house? I think they kind of called both. They said they want to roll whoa, in, but they don't whoa. really want to sit in the middle either. No, so. no, no, Laura, no. No. Just let it come out a little. Keep going. You have a chance. You have a chance. You have a chance. You're probably taking a yellow over here. Gets it just over. Right from the get-go there. Scott seemed a little concerned about that one. Yeah, it looks like she might have been a little, little touch on the wide side. But got away with it, and that's all that matters. They don't all have to be pretty. No, as long as they get the job done. That's good. Go then. Same I'm idea good. for Saskatchewan now. Yeah, looking to work this corner go. guard and try to put some pressure on. Carol. Looks get close. You're going to get by that corner. But again, the weight. Can they, can they, um, what are you seeing? I don't know. Do you want to call the time? I was thinking rip one of these, but. Let's call the time. Yeah, sure. All right, no, Fine. yeah, rip one of these. Ontario. I don't know, I just want wanted to talk about it. No. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just thinking <laughs> if we rip this one and they go around, we still have the run. Back. Sure, I like it. That works. Good thinking there by Matt. It gets to that point later in the end. You mm -hmm. go on the offense, like you, you stay on the defense. On you, um, his point was that if they rip the top one and Saskatchewan makes a good come around, then they have the run back still. No, it's excellent forward thinking. Team avoids the timeout as well to come. Saving it in their back pocket just in case. Yep! Yep! Gotta go! Clean, yep, yep, keep it yes. going. Laura, stay with it. Long roll. Hard, yep. hard, 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 hard. Trying to get that over as far as they can. It's fine. I threw that so good banner. <laughs> would they have ideally liked that one out? Yeah, they would have liked it the whole way. Now they've left kind of a staggered guard on this side. That's why you'll see Saskatchewan uh, try to go the other Real way now early. and get one buried here. They've had good line. They've just been short, and it looked like there's they've been frustrated a little bit that the rock Hard, keeps seemed to come down. All right, get it walking. Get a walk it all the way back. Chris trying to work it here and go as far as he can. It can be deep in the house. He just needs to get it buried. Trying to get it over. Okay. Just side, so it looks like still definitely exposed there. Or at least that one corner guard is definitely high enough that it shouldn't have as big of an impact. Yeah, I, I mean, there's quite a bit of room there for him. He'll try to roll to the middle. Got a feel for the team Sask. It's just been Struggle City. They just haven't been able to get weight and line together. Kelly gets gets good weight on this one and just can't quite bury it. It's been the theme of the night, that's for sure. They have, just haven't been able to put a whole bunch of pressure on the Ontario team. And Ontario has been making a lot of shots as well when they've had the chance. We had an inch more. Okay, I can. I don't. If you guys like a hair loss, I don't mind it. Putting a great run triple from McDonald back in the third end, leading to that team's score of three with Hammer, and then. Really just kind of kept the pressure from there. Yeah, that was definitely a game changer. So here comes Scott McDonald. They want to remove that rock from play from Saskatchewan. Yeah, you can go a little. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a good chunk. Okay, roll. Stay with the ball. Get over there. Good. 
succeeds in that and another example of good weight control as well. Yeah, great weight control. It won't be super satisfied with that though just because of the pocket it has now left Saskatchewan. Kind of will give him a chance. Got a little unfortunate. You can see Lori kind of shaking her head in the back. She's not too sure if it's good or bad. But you're still forcing the Saskatchewan to make a good shot. Is that good weight still? This is a path that we haven't seen a whole lot here <laughs> on the edge of the four, so it'll be interesting to, to see what it does. Chance it might be a little bit slower here too. Well then, well, if it's heavy, don't clean it. We're there. Line's cross. Line's good. Dead freeze. Whoa, line's good. We're there. Whoa, no no bounce. Looking to lock something on here. Needs it to halt. <laughs> that just came right to a dead halt. Yeah, great shot. And I got a 13-3 on that, so kind of what I figured there in the middle. Um, hasn't been, uh, you know, not a whole bunch of draws there, but definitely a little bit heavier there. Um, also not swept at all either, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great judge there by the front end. Oh, just one. I think if we come down and just unlock it and roll and sit on center, that's really good. Yeah, I like it. This is Laura's line. Yeah. Just looking for back four. Okay. Okay, just probably want like back four. Ways. And to the nose or across the hair? Sorry? To the nose or across the hair? Either or, but ideally you're crossing a quarter inch. Okay. So what's the call here? Uh, just like back four weight, just tap uh, it a little bit. He's just trying to unlock yellow, that right? one. And then flop in like split center. Yep. So that one you threw. Exactly like what he just said. The scoring area is obviously really small. Um, so he's just trying to, to keep it that way and make it really hard for Saskatchewan to score two. Um, the pick on the outside will always be there in the tap, but uh, um, he wouldn't be able to roll very far. So yeah, just keep the scoring area really small. Yeah. And yeah. unlock it so that he can't yeah. bounce it oh. off. We've got Bucky. room to curl. Bucky. 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 Needs to curl. Bucky. I don't know. Curl. Curl. I don't know what to do with this one. Curl. 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 So he hits it right on the nose here and actually leaves Saskatchewan a shot. Yeah, just a little bit more weight than he wanted there. Um, and yeah, Saskatchewan will have a shot for two. As we said before, things yeah, can change very fast. Because Absolutely. That one got to the, that one got to the, so we got to go around it basically, yeah. If they get right to the nose of the one in the back four on the left-hand side, they will have second shot, um, or else they can just draw straight on the T-line as well. So they have options here. Should it come out a little bit heavy, they know that that's there. Yes, for sure. Big shot here for Saskatchewan for their second point. but I think we'll still be in the heavier part. I'm going to give you this thing. Meacham here, looking to score two. Gets Saskatchewan back in this game. Brooms down. All the way. Chris Heikert calling it good. Good weight, good line. Will they get it? Good for two, just so. Great shot, great sweep, great call from everyone on Saskatchewan here. Getting themselves back in with that score too. They still trail eight to five as we head into the seventh end here right away. We'll be back. Saskatchewan is cold. So cold that you'll often hear locals ask each other, is it cold enough for you? The bold and brave, they'll already know the answer to this question. Saskatchewan is cold enough. Cold enough to cover our land with new possibilities. To freeze time and place and create long-lasting memories. Cold enough to make us appreciate the warmth of others and bring our communities even closer together. Saskatchewan. Cold enough.
Welcome back to Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Kyle and Kara on the call here for this championship round match of the 2022 Canadian Mixed Curling Championship. Saskatchewan with a big draw for two to score. Get themselves kind of back into this game. They're now down three. Quite the draw from them and uh, looks like that slide path maybe affected the uh, that final draw there a touch. Yeah, definitely kind of ground at the end. It was just a touch lighter on the clock than the first one. So kind of the result we expected and a uh, great sweep by TJ there and um, a great skipper's deuce, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Um, going back to staying patient, there was rocks in play. Um, take your chances and they got a break and capitalized after that. So we'll see them put the pressure on here with some guards on the center line. I don't know if I could have got it all the way to the Looks like Ontario is going to try to play the... The tick, which is allowed in mixed play, um, will not be allowed in men's and women's play um, this year, though. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. That's correct. It certainly changes a lot of ends we saw at the Pan Continental Curling Championship. Oh, practiced, practiced a lot of those babies. <laughs> They're, it's a game changer for sure, so um, I mean at this event, this is a good thing right now for Saskatchewan that there is no tick rule, um, they're going to be wanting to play a lot of guards. Great try there from Team Ontario, uh, she just touched it, not, not quite enough to move it. Um, these rocks won't be quite as lively as we're used to either at some of the Curling Canada events. So you will have to chunk them a bit. Um, just not quite the same striking bands as we're used to seeing on TV. So with that, that leaves a great end set up here by TJ, I'd say. Those are two really well thrown rocks. Yeah, well placed and uh, easier said than done a lot of times mm -hmm. too. So um, a great, great start to the end. And, Ontario will try that tick again. Hair last. Yeah. Yeah. See. Whoa. Matt. Hard. Hard. Neil trying to get this Hard. over. Great shot. <laughs> Great shot. It's about as well as could be thrown, I'd say. Yeah, that's a uh, great shot. She threw uh, close to half weight there, and like I said, it's just a little bit easier. You can chunk a little bit more of it um, and be able to roll out here just, just not in. being quite as, quite as active. There's quite variance, I guess, in that shot. It probably, like the amount of weight you have to throw, probably depends on the type of ice you're playing, the amount of curl, where exactly you hit it. Yeah, here you could get away with a little bit more weight, that's Keep for sure. Burn down. But not to take anything away from her. Oh, no, no. The shots aren't easy at all, so very, very well done. And then she took the other end, the corner guard, into the house as well. So she's had a great game. Okay, Matt, clean it up a bit. So Matt Hall will get a chance to clear things out. Yeah, that guard came a little tighter than Chris would have liked. It's a good opportunity here for Ontario. Yep. Yep. This team from yep. St. Thomas. Yep. 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 Oh. All right. good, 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 good. Great shot. Yeah, makes no mistake with Great that. Major kudos to the host committee here, led by Brian Rendell and Pat Bibby. Putting on some exceptional events at the 2019 New Holland Canadian Juniors. Took part here at the uh, Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center as well as the Art Hauser building just down the street from here. It was a great championship. Also a ton of volunteers that make this a reality. Everyone from on the ice, the officials to timekeepers, everyone else who runs behind the scenes to make things work. It always takes a community, and Prince Albert has a great curling community to make events like this happen. Yeah, they've been um, able to host a lot of events, and I think Curling Canada has come back to them quite a few times. And um, it, t it takes a lot of people to put these events on. And I've been lucky enough to play in a mixed provincial and a couple women's provincials here. And they 
they've always done a really good job, so kudos to them. That's exactly it, because it's not just at that national event. I know that they put on a lot of Curl Sass Provincials as well. I was asking uh, Brian about those earlier today. I said, oh, so, you know, what have you what have you thrown, like, provincial-wise? He's like, just recently or all time? Because that list would be a long, very long. Yeah, there's always lots going on. When I had heard that the mix was coming, I wasn't really that surprised, that's for sure. So um, they actually just hosted the the Saskatchewan mixed yeah. provincials right last year as well. Carol. So um, had the, okay. been fortunate to play here a lot at, for high level curling, which is really nice. But yeah, it, it's, it takes everybody, that's for sure. And there's a lot of members of this club that put a lot of volunteer time in, so. Okay. Yep. 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 So Ontario not leaving much to chance here. Whoa. Nine. Nine. Right up to a lash. Whoa. Whoa. Just there. Just there. Just there. Fine. Good. They do nose it there, so it does leave it in play and give something for Saskatchewan to draw around. Benefit, of course, being that it is a Ontario stone that's out front. Hey. Yeah, Saskatchewan kind of just trying to hide behind whatever they can, moving the guard over there to try and get a mistake, and they did get a partial miss, so, um, you know, in a case like this, you're just trying to get a couple in the rings, and you're trying to make them look at more than one on their final stone, as would be your end goal when it's not right on the center line. Mine's good. Mine's real good. Room, 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 room. It's got a curl. Got a curl. Got a curl. Not true. Check out. Grabs a just back 12 there, Kelly's Rock. That was the, the moment of uh, Chris sweeping, but then stop, going, stop. oh man, I better uh -oh. let this stop in the house. <laughs> Looks to be far enough back now in the house that Ontario will just try and draw around instead of playing any type of run. Yeah, it's just late enough in the end that Ontario is just switching gears here. And, uh, you know, not a whole bunch of risk playing over into the corner. So going to try and set up, set up a score here or a deuce. Nine, 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 just go, just go. Hard. Everything you got. Hard, Everything you hard, got. Hard, hard, hard. 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 You get a little piece. Trying to hard. get this over for every little bit they can. Yeah, same as Kelly's. They're just yeah, uh, not quite getting quite as much finish as they well, thought they would. Well, she's right down the middle there. Yeah, I think that's right. This does give Saskatchewan something to back on to, though. Yeah, it's above the T-line, though, so it will be a little tricky. Um, I didn't hear if he was looking to corner freeze or if he's looking to tap it a little bit. This is more of a line shot than a weight shot. Sean Meacham is first. Ah. They scored two last end with Hammer, but two ends to play. They still need to make a bit of a run here. That's a great shot. Yeah, the, the corner freezes above the T line are so hard. Um, if you bounce off a little bit, it's no good. If you over curl, it's no good. Um, so great, great shot there. Great team shot, and uh, good judge by the front end as well. Yep. TJ really finishing that one off too, getting it to where it needed to be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm not sure. Their shot. Their shot. Their shot. You can back blast out on the own. I could. Okay. Oh, Middle of the rock, intern. Sorry? Middle of the rock, intern. Thank you. 
So Ontario was looking at maybe following it down that same path. But Scott comes down, uh, realizes, or after discussing with Matt there, rock's pretty open so they can just blast it out. Yeah, on the angle, anything nose or high side, the, the red will be gone here. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Hard. Hits it. Oh. No problem. Right. Gets that going. That I don't right. think it was. It was going by. Okay. Sorry. We have one result that we can tell you about here. Team Kui, the Northwest Territories, defeats New Brunswick's Grant Odishaw 10 to four. Scored four in the sixth and stole one in the seventh to finish that game. Tap it out, lay two, and look for a roll. So what is Saskatchewan hoping for here? It looks like they're just gonna play a hack weight, board weight, um, just hit and roll. Do you like that or do you like this? Because either way, both are for stealing one. Right. Like if we do this, he's hitting it anyway. Yeah. He's got to get three quarters buried on the ground. It's yeah. pretty hard. He just picks it out. You want? Okay. Where is it? I know. Got at least the pickers. Yep. That's right. Yeah, it's better off to lay. It's better off to lay. It can hold. Pretty much tells you exactly what they were thinking. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Regardless, you're hoping Please. for a miss. Please. Yeah. Um, and they just, it, it is, I said, is a little bit hard to bury. And they're trying to bury around a rock in the top eight. So they're happy with just line two and, and hoping for a rollout. Board. Yeah. That's exactly what they will yeah. try yeah. here. Never a nice feeling when you have to rely on the opposition's errors. That's right, yeah. <coughs> that is also sometimes how we find ourselves in this game. So Scott McDonald here throwing his last of the seventh end. Open hit right near the center line. Needs to stick this. Could take a 9 5 lead. Okay. Stay close. Yep, you got it. Saskatchewan looking and hoping for a steal. Board weight. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Great throw. Laurietti happy with this result. That's a Very hit nice. for one for Ontario to take a 9 yeah. 5 lead. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it would have been better to go around about. That's hard. So the teams discuss here. It looks like they're going to go down and play one more. So we'll be back after this. Yeah. Welcome back. We're here at the Prince Albert Golf and Curling Center. Eighth end of action here between uh, Saskatchewan's Sean Meacham and Ontario's Scott McDonald. Big lead here for Ontario. Saskatchewan will have hammer and they're looking to generate four here. Yeah, Saskatchewan will be looking to throw up some guards and get some come grounds and hopefully some misses. And Ontario threw their first rock through, just trying to keep it open and just uh, one rock at a time. 
it's cliche, but it's true, especially in a, a sport like this or an event like this or a situation like this where you, all you can do is hope for the best, focus on what's coming up next, and only focus on the things that you can't control as well. Big sweep, and I don't think that got over. That's probably good enough, isn't it? <laughs> Sean wondering if that's enough after that. We'll do a few more, though. We're back on the air tomorrow for three more draws. You can join us at uh, 12.30. Central, that is uh, 1.30 Eastern. Our feature game is going to be between Team Jamie Cooey, the Northwest Territories. He has a, he's at a six and two record. Taking on British Columbia, Team's Miles Craig. They lost, as a matter of fact. Looks like we have another uh, update to put you in on. And it was uh, Team Northern Ontario's Trevor Bonneau le uh, defeating BC's Craig, Team Craig, six to two. So. Territory is coming off a win. BC looking to rebound after that. You can also join us at 4 p.m. where we'll be back. We'll be with the seeding pool game between Alberta's Morgan Muse, who we saw earlier on, as well as Newfoundland and Labrador's Will Butler. And then back up for a very important match. What could be very critical as well, it's uh, draw 18 is the final championship pool. Nova Scotia's Paul yep. Fleming and yep. New Brunswick's team Grant yep. Odisha in an all-Atlantic battle Hi, to finish up the round Hi, robin tomorrow. Whoa. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Top four teams Great will shot. advance to Good the semi-final <laughs> style playoffs. <laughs> Doesn't happen very Never often. <laughs> Those will be staged on Saturday. Game time's at 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Central Time. 10 a.m. for the semis, and then the Golden Bronze will be played simultaneously at 2.30 p.m. to wrap up this event that's been a great week so far in Prince Albert. And I believe it's one place four and two place three for the semifinals? That's correct. What? Okay. The old uh, Olympic style yeah, of, uh, of playoffs. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no page. No page playoff. Go hard or go <laughs> home. Yeah. 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 Good. 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 Good job. I feel like Hall's played a lot of those peels so far this game. And that second position always helps to have a player like that who can throw them. You can hear Laurie trying to keep up to the rock. <laughs> in there. Stay one foot in front of the other and don't fall. We only have one other game out on the ice right now. Nova Scotia's team Paul Ooh, Fleming has a 3-2 lead now. over yeah, Quebec's uh, <laughs> team Felix Asselin. That's been a good back and forth game so far. That's good enough, please. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> and there it is. So Saskatchewan's had enough. They're going to shake here in this eighth end. Team Ontario walking away with a 9-5 victory. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Can't wait to see you tomorrow here on Curling Canada's YouTube page for the 2022 Canadian Mixed Curling Championship. On behalf of Kara Teveno, I'm Kyle Jans. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.